Welcome to Den of Tools. Howdy ho, guys and gals. It's Red, your friend Labor Tool Bear, back again here in the Den of Tools. And today we're talking about Black Friday. Yep, Black Friday is just around the corner. Well, we got a little ways off. But one of the biggest questions I get right now is what's going to happen with Black Friday sales? 2020 through everything into a huge mess. 2021 has done nothing to straighten it all out. It's gotten worse in a lot of ways. So people are wondering, is Black Friday going to happen? If so, what are the sales going to be like? Should I buy now? Should I wait? Well, that's the big question. So let's jump into it. But before we do, I want to thank our sponsor today. And that, of course, is Skillshare, your number one place to go for online learning and self-education and, and a, just broadening your horizons in, in general. So we'll talk more about them here in just a moment. But that said, October 26th, that was the magical number last year. We don't have a specific date this year when the Black Friday sale is going to drop from Home Depot, but that's when it hit last year. That said, let's take a look at last year's flyer, and we're going to go from there and see what the predictions are going forward. Batteries? Yeah, I think we'll see batteries on sale. The rigid shop vac here, $59.88. I think we're going to see some shop vac sales. Are they going to be better than the sales we've seen this summer? Yeah, I don't know. One thing I know we will see is we'll see big hand tool sales, especially in the house brands, like with Husky. I think every single tool outlet is going to have their $100 box of tools like we've seen before. I think even we're going to see even more of that, to be honest. And maybe even some more enhanced boxes in the $150, $200 range. But at the very least, I know at Home Depot we're going to see this or something similar to this again. That's definitely going to happen. Now let's talk about tool brands, Ryobi. Look at the one here in the center. We're looking at a six-pack of Ryobi here for $200. Not a bad deal, right? And check this out. This is the current deal going on right now. You can go to Home Depot and buy this. This is the six pack of Ryobi tools and you get the glue gun, the mini glue gun for free and all for the what, same price. No, 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 not even that. You're getting an extra free tool for $10 less that I don't even understand how you would compare the two. There's no way they're going to beat that $199 price or, or beat the $189 price. Do you think Do you think they're going to make it $150? No, that's not going to happen. All right, how about this? What about the Ryobi? We are here, they're, they're brushless tools. This is the 18-volt compact brushless two-tool kit. Includes the half-inch drill driver and the impact, two batteries and a bag. They're 139. I mean, honestly, how much better can they do this year? How about right now you can buy the HP brushless kit for for 129? That's $10 less in the HP lineup. I don't know if the other ones, those weren't HP, I don't think. Maybe they were. Uh, they could have been HP. But still, the whole point here is even if it is the exact same tool, and, it, and maybe it is, but it, even if it's the exact same tool, it's $10 less now, and it's not even close to Black Okay, it's kind of close, but it's not that close to Black Friday. Let's be honest. Would you wait and, and, and have to, like, fight your way through the crowds to spend $10 more than buying it right now? Do you think they're going to drop this down to $119, $110? you think it'll hit $99? Bucks? Not a chance. They're trying. They're having a hard time keeping stuff in stock. Look at this. This is my local Home Depot this weekend. They've been ransacked. Look at that. Half the stuff is already gone, and we're not even, we're not even in November. There's, there's no way it's going to last. All right, let's talk tool chest. We got the, the exclusive over here, 42-inch, 10-inch tool chest with mobile work workbench. You know what? I like this one. I like it. It has a nice assortment of drawers. You got some. You got the long one across the top. You got some semi-long, some shorts. You got different depths and stuff. Nice variability in a smaller 42-inch chest. I like it. Plus, it's got the, the USB and battery bank, or not battery, but power bank down the side. That's awesome. That I love that it's built in. 248, that's a fantastic price. I think we will come close to that. I don't know if we will hit that price. I'm honestly expecting it to be a little bit higher. You know, this was what this is my local Home Depot again. Look at this. They just rolled these out. They made room up front. They have a slew of of these carts, different sizes, 42, 46, all sorts of carts up here. But they were all priced a good bit higher than that. I I think that if we hit $300 on this cart, I'd be a happy bear. At $250, I'd be ecstatic. I'd probably be buying a couple of them at that price. Now, what about the other type of carts or tool chests that they have here? Some of these more upright ones. They did have those in stock as well. Uh, and in fact, in even different colors. I I've never seen this blue before. If I, if maybe I did, and I just didn't pay attention to it. I kind of like it. It's kind of a nice color. Maybe you can get a discount on this one because it's clearly got a little ding damage up there. Maybe get an early Black Friday on that one. I definitely think tool chests are going to be one of the ones getting pushed. 
higher end stuff is going to get pushed. The lower end stuff, the stuff that's already around $100, $150, I don't think you're going to see that big a deal on it. All right, let's move along. What else have we got? Well, we got some, uh, we got the Milwaukee stuff down here, you know, with 149 on. This is your basic driver and impact that's normally $200. What about that? Well, you could buy it for that price right now. That's not a Black Friday price. That's a buy it now, today, go to the store and just get it kind of price. It's not even, it's not a special buy, but there's like not even a limit on the time on it. Now, there are some good deals that we saw last year. We saw the uh, a couple of the BOGOs or the buy two get, buy the whole set for 600 bucks, get two tools free. They're good deals. They, they were great deals. But we've seen a lot of this this summer. We've seen a lot of the kind of Ray Obi's days-ish kind of stuff. So that's already happened. I think we'll see it again, but it's not something that just, you know, makes me excited to get down and fight the crowds for Black Friday. $5.99, if you're looking to jump into the uh, the whole Milwaukee kit, maybe that's what you want to do. As far as like the M12 stuff, we've seen deals like this all year long. I Nothing exciting here. Uh, there's deals like this going on right now. I mean, maybe not these specific deals, but we've seen this deal recently. That's that's not a huge thing. How about this? We got now. This one thing I think we're gonna see. We're gonna see a lot of the pack out and the pack out. Not even just at Home Depot. Everyone's gonna have their storage solutions front and center because there's huge markup on these things, and they're looking to cash in on that. So 199. I think we'll see a deal like that again. I don't know if we with this tool specifically. It's a popular tool, but we'll definitely see something like that. All right, over at Rigid. Now, Rigid is kind of in that spot between Milwaukee and uh, and Ryobi, not not just price wise and performance wise, but but you know stock sale inventory wise. We're seeing a lot of these deals going on right now, and you know in the stationary tools. Well, we'll talk about the stationary tools in a minute. But I mean, we look at the store. There's already huge Rigid sales going on right now. Fantastic sales, and they're of course ransacked as well. In fact, Rigid's been having a real issue with inventory for the past year. People have been emailing me going, "Is Rigid going away?" They're not. Don't worry. But the lack of inventory did make it look like that might be the case. Now, here's one thing to look out for: the rigid saw. So the rigid saw here, the and the the, the job site saws as well. Six hundred dollars. You see that? Why is that happening? Well, because Delta's parent company is now supplying the new saws for them. So these are getting blown out. I think the further we go into fall towards Turkey Day the deeper that discount's going to go. I can see that easily falling down to 500, 400, depending on if they sit there in stock. And if they do, they got to make room. They got more stuff coming in. They got stuff for Christmas coming in and the holidays and Black Friday. They have to make room on the floor. This stuff has to go. So if you're looking for a table saw, that might be the deal to go at. Also, check out the latest deals of the week video. There was a great deal on a rigid drill press, a standing 15-inch standing floor standing drill press. Never seen anything like it at that price. It, does that mean Delta is going to be replacing one of those? I don't know about that, but I do know that we're definitely seeing movement on the stationary tools. But that said, let me tell you about Skillshare, okay? Online learning is quickly becoming a primary source of education and Skillshare is leading the way. Their community allows millions of creative people to join together in learning and even inspiring others. They offer classes on a wide variety of topics. You'll not only learn, but you'll also interact through class projects. One of my favorite features is that they're also adaptive to fit your schedule. That makes it perfect for busy tool bears like me. My family has always believed that learning is not a destination, it's a journey, and that you're never too old to learn new tricks. Now, Skillshare offers, as I said before, a wide variety of topics. Some of my favorite are photography, cooking, and productivity. A class I recently finished was the Productivity Masterclass, How to Do More While Working at Home. Yeah, we all know how 2020 is going. And as wonderful as it sounds to be able to work from home, it does come with some significant challenges. Those are how to stay focused and say be productive while being at home. And classes like this are helping me do just that. Members get access to thousands of ad-free classes with hands-on projects and feedback from a community of millions. And the first 1,000 people to use my link below will get a one-month free trial to Skillshare. Okay, but back to the deals. And here we are talking about DeWalt. Now, there are some great DeWalt deals, but there have been great DeWalt deals all summer long. We got the BOGOs here, some just like we saw with the, uh, the the Milwaukee stuff, the buy the battery packs, you get one tool free. Everyone's been copying uh, Ryobi all summer doing these kind of BOGO deals with the battery packs. So this is nothing new. Now, the whole kit, $400 for the Atomic kit, I like that deal. 
if they could come back with something like that, that would be great. Of course, we know we saw their new batteries coming out, fitting in great with those atomic line of tools, getting small, small items, small tools with big battery performance. You gotta like that. But that said, let's jump through. Definitely, again, I think we're gonna see more of these tool combo kits with their, with their uh, well, they don't call it the packout system, what do they call it, the tough system. We're definitely gonna see more of that. But like this, the Max, 20-volt uh, Max brushless oscillating multi-kit in the Atomic Series. We just saw that sale with, it, it just happened. This is nothing new here. And now they do have a new, you know, almost like subcompact impact driver. Will that drive these down in price? I think that we'll see this one again here, but you know, only time will tell on that. Makita, I think Makita is definitely gonna be a big time for Makita. If you're in Makita, I know you've been waiting all year for big sales. They've had sales here and there. And they do have some decent sales, but it's always on a very small subsection of their tools. Black Friday always seems to be a time where they roll out a whole bunch more tools. I think we're going to see that again because they, they've, they've been pretty miserly with them all, all summer. So I'm expecting to see a much bigger presence for Makita come Black Friday. Appliances, yeah, appliances are going to happen. Now, how many they're going to have, that's the whole issue because stock and inventory is the big thing going up, going forward, coming in this Black Friday season. Empty shelves are going to be the norm. You're going to see them because they're having these huge sales right now because they don't know if they're going to have inventory later. They got the inventory now. They're making the money while they can. A lot of people are, are hesitant to wait for Black Friday. I don't think I'm going to in a lot of cases. Ryobi, Definitely not waiting. Rigid, you got to look and see. But for the bigger names, for the Dewalt, for the Milwaukee's, for the Makita's, those are definitely a wait till Black Friday, as well as the uh, if you're looking at tool chests and stuff like that. Now, one thing I'm noticing is a lot of companies are doing these pre-Black Friday flash sales. This is over at uh, Best Buy. Target was doing something similar. They're all doing these incentives to shop prior to Black Friday. They had a lot of success last year with stretching the Black Friday season out from mid-October all the way through the end of November. They're probably going to do that again because if a formula works, they're going to keep running the copier on that till they run out of ink. They're, they're just going to print it and print it and print it until uh, no one's going buying it anymore. So I think we're going to see that extended Black Friday uh, kind of sale. You're not going to see like that all crazy on, on, on the, you know, the day after Turkey Day kind of stuff, but we're going to see it stretched out over a month, month and a half. But that said, let's let's talk about who's going to be the real game changer this year, and that is Amazon. And it's going to really and probably has affected all the other retail stores, you know, the way they look at Black Friday because they compete with almost everybody. Look at this. They've got Black & Decker. They've got the Black & Decker in yellow. I, I kid. The Bear Kids. They've got Port Black & Decker in gray. <laughs> they've got Black & Decker in red. Uh, <laughs> they've got Makita. They've got Milwaukee. <laughs> they've got uh, everyone else. We got Matabo HPT. That's like one that's, they've been just making huge strides. This is an 18 volt, 36 volt set here. They've got it all. They've, you know, the Craftsman, the, they've even got Rigid. They've got PowerSmart. They've got, they've got brands that nobody knows, brands that nobody knows how to pronounce. They've got it. And it's so much easier to shop online and find those online sales than it is to fight our ways in the store. I know I hate going to Black Friday sales. I absolutely, I, you know, after the last time, I went a little grisly on some people and they asked me not to come back. So, you know, that happens. But the fact of the matter is, there's great deals going on at Amazon. Look at this one right now. They're blowing out Black & Decker. They're, as they said, they're having an epic Black & Decker sale. Some great stuff here. I'm going to scroll through it real quick. I'll put a link to the sale down below because one of the items I talk about more than anything else from Black & Decker, I know you're rolling your eyes. Who wants Black & Decker? The Black & Decker matrix system, in white no less, is on sale for $159. That's Amazon Prime Day deals. That, that's Black Friday deals. That's all of it rolled into one. That's the buy it now price on this thing. This is a multi-kit. You get a drill driver, a sander, a multi-tool, an impact, a, a jigsaw, and a router. I kid you not, there's a router in here. No, you're not going to do huge, you know, quarter inch or quarter half inch cuts with it and stuff. But still... If you're looking for a portable set, an entry level set, you got a small shop, you have a mobile shop, you're an RV, you're on a boat, you just want something to take with you. That is a great set to have. I picked one up on Amazon Prime Days. I've had a lot of fun playing around with it. But that said, this is I'm just showing you right now there and this is one page. I'll put a link to the wholesale down below. I just don't think that Black Friday 
for a lot of stuff is going to have as big an impact because we're seeing the deals right now. I think we're going to see this long stretch of sales rather than that quick just one week of sales. So what I would say is keep an eye, know what you want right now. Know what you want right now. And when it hits, you know, set your own buy it now price. Maybe look at last year's deals. Look at my videos. I covered all the sales last year. So you can see all the deals from last year. Set your own buy it now price. And when you see it hit it, buy it. Don't wait for Black Friday because I don't think it's going to happen. Even if it does, even if the, the price is 5%, 10% less than what you get it for right now, if it's not in stock, it's not in stock. And that's going to be the biggest issue. Let me know what you think about Black Friday. What are your predictions for Home Depot coming up in the next couple of months? What do you think is going to happen over there? Let me know in the comments down below over there. I don't remember where I left it. The comment section, it's around here somewhere. Let me know down there what you think. While you're down there, don't forget to chomp the old like button, smash that subscribe, ring the bell on your way out. You all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.